Hello, hello, Tiffany Durr, The Essential Gardener here. And I believe that you can make the positive change you wish to see in the world and still be an amazing mom. So today, we are gonna talk about some really important things. We are gonna talk about self-care and why that's so important, what that even means. And then we are going to talk about my friend, the air plant. I have my little thing here. And we will talk about how to care for that. So let's get started. So self-care. Self-care is something that I am actually not very good at at times. Um, I get to going fast. I get to doing everything for everybody else. And I forget that I have to put my oxygen mask on first. You know, when you're in the airplane and they always say this at the beginning, you know, you got to put your oxygen mask on before you put your child's on or anybody else that you're with. You got to make sure you have yours on first. And do you know why that's so important? It's so that way you can actually help other people. And that is so important for us too, especially as moms, especially just as human beings. You have to take care of your, yourself first in order to be able to take care of others. Because if you try to give from a depleted well, you're not serving others. The other cool thing about self, or the other important thing about self-care, I was just talking to my friend today, Mary Lynn. She does light dynamics. She does my ear seeds and light therapy. And yeah, I did some self-care today. <laughs> And we were talking about how we as women, or mostly women, but it doesn't have to be, it can be other people as well, we really feel the pressure to serve others. And we sacrifice ourselves and our, what we believe and what we think for others. We take care of our kids and our husbands and our families and we, we are the caretakers, we tend to be the caretakers at work as well. It's just this role that we slide into so easily and a lot of times we forget that we have to take care of ourselves first you've got to do it first so what does it look like to take care of yourself first well of course you gotta do you want to do the basics right you want to do the genuine the the hygiene you know the tooth brushing and the face washing and the you know all of that fun stuff but then on top of that you need to take some time for you and i find when i take time for me first thing in the morning when I take that time, I do my do a quick meditation, it doesn't have to be much, and I let myself really focus on me, then I can help others better. I can, my whole day goes better. I find that I feel like I have more time. You know, a lot of times we tell ourselves we can't do things because we don't have enough time to do them because we need to go do this, 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 and this for other people. But truly, we do have time for it and we make more time, which I know sounds bizarre, but you actually can make more time when you have a clear head and you've taken that time for yourself. You've put your oxygen mask on first. So you can take in the morning, you can do some meditation, you can do a little bit of exercise, get that body moving, drink some water, um, write in a journal, write your gratitudes, make sure you're doing your 10 gratitudes. We talked about that a couple of weeks ago, doing 10 gratitudes every single morning. And I just learned today how important it is to do that at night too, before you go to bed. Um, getting that, getting all those good vibes in and then your mind can think of good things throughout the night. You draw in more positivity and more goodness into your life. And so those are really important. So I'm gonna quick, I'm gonna kind of deviate from what I normally do. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about some oils. So these are oils, taking a long bath, that's another great way to take care of yourself. And you know what, I'm so terrible. I always think, oh, I can't do it, I don't have time. I don't have time, I don't have time. I tell myself that all the time, which is just complete and total BS, right? We do have time because if we make time for ourselves, we can create more time. So I just put on some balance. Balance is really good at helping calm the mind. It helps ground you. It helps remind you of the things that you can actually take care of. Um, it's a really, really good self-care oil. And then Serenity. Serenity is another really great self-care oil. It helps. I love this combination. Um, it really helps relax you. It helps relax the mind. It helps you really get ready for the day. Or if you need to go to be sleeping at night and you're having trouble turning off that list of a bajillion things you need to get done, serenity. Serenity is the one. If you need to get some oils, if you don't have oils in your life already, contact me. I'm going to help you out. I can send you some free samples. So yeah, totally, I know you may not know me, you just know me from the internet. Message me. I will send you free samples. Everybody needs to try these oils. I'm making a positive impact. I want to make a positive impact on your life. So, all right. So the reason I chose this plant, which is an air plant, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of this. I love it, isn't this beautiful? My, one of my 
friend sent that to me when I got to platinum. So an air plant. The reason I chose this is because, you know, we as people think that we don't need self care, right? We don't need that. And there's this really funny misconception that air plants don't need water, which is totally not true. They need water to survive. Um, so in, you know, they're usually in a climate in the tropics where it rains a lot. They're in like rainforests and stuff. And so they can just absorb it right through the leaves, the water. And so it's really important that you do some self care for these little guys. And also these symbolize freedom and creativity. And the more free we are, the more that we do self care, the more freedom we actually provide for ourselves. So how do you take care of this little guy um, is you can take, I've just have this little bottle. I put two drops of peppermint oil in this bottle and all you gotta do is mist the plant down. And you can do that a few times a week. Um, you can also, oh, sorry, I totally, that's all I did, I just misted it. Um, and then you're gonna put it back in the little holder. Now, one time every week or every two weeks, I just recently learned this, you can take this, dunk it in water for like three or four minutes and then bring it out, put it in a paper towel upside down, upside down, sorry, the water's not getting up in there and making it rot upside down, dry it, dry it off in a paper towel and then you can put it back in the little thing. Some people even let them soak up to 24 hours. I don't know if I'd recommend that, but you can soak them for quite a while and then you can put them back in their little container. Um, but that just helps them really soak in some water. You can do that like once every other week or so. Or some people do it weekly. It really depends. So this is my little air plant. I love this little guy. He hangs above my kitchen sink. We have become good buddies. Um, and so, and the reason I put peppermint in there is because they, these plants tend to, if they're going to have a pest issue, it's going to be like mealybug or scale, which um, they're very closely related. Anyways, uh, peppermint helps deter that coming. So if you just add a couple drops of peppermint that you're already spraying on there, you're going to help deter ever having those pests in the first place. So just like us, they need water, they need self-care, they need love and attention. They need water and we need water. We need to feed our souls. We need to, um, continue to improve ourselves and continue to give time to ourselves so that way we can truly show up as who we are and truly help bring the gifts that we have been given and bring them to the forefront and help others. Okay, I hope that you have enjoyed this this week. Make sure you share this with your friends. Um, if you are interested in working with me and getting in learning more about essential oils and learning more about plant care in um, maybe even building a business with me. I have spots that are open that I am looking for people to work with me. Please reach out to me, um, leave a comment below, whatever that looks like for you, and we will connect. I am all about making a big positive change in the world, and I'm going to do that one person at a time. So if you are one of those people, message me. Have a fantastic day, and remember that you can make the positive changes you wish to see in the world and still be an incredible mom, father, whatever that is for you. Mwah.